Hey guys, ladies here again, and welcome back to Photoshop CS5 Extended. How to create a YouTube channel background part four, and in this part we're going to do some final touches and show you how to save it, and that's about it. So let's me get this off and finish our YouTube background. So this is where we left off last time. We got our buttons created. We got the text on the side. So it's looking like it's nearly done. But one more thing I want to add is we're gonna we're just gonna add something here right on the top okay so what you can do you can add some pretty um, cool text or you can do some decorative stuff or you could have your little buttons right in here but really small I mean <coughs> you can just about still see it so you might as well but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add um, text into here so I'll just select my text tool and I'll type in my text actually I'll make my text a lot smaller first around that should do it So this is what I want to have in here and I'll just change my font to the same as what we use for the Facebook which is right here and I'm just going to zoom out let me have a look how it, go, how it looks it looks just about right and I'm just going to move it around and have it right in the middle there so for me this channel should be just about done um, what you could do, you could add um, a level layer adjustment on the top and you could play around with the levels and see what sort of an effects you can get you, could, you might be able to make it look a bit slicker just by playing with the effects and um, see how it affects your image and it might make it look pretty cool I quite like this one so I'm gonna have that and obviously whatever else you want to add you can add it as long as you follow the guides and um, everything else um, basically you just gotta put your images on here so about saving I'm just gonna show you how to save this and how to um, um, use it as your channel background and one of the most important things that you need to do is turn the layer off for the template which is right here so channel block folder you need to turn this off and this is how you have to save it as a JPEG and this is very important because if you don't do it this red line around here is going to show up on your um, YouTube channel so you must turn this layer off like so and once you've done that you just need to go to file save as and you need to save as a JPEG and the reason why it's good to save as a JPEG because once you click save you can control the size of this so as you can tell at the moment it's 1.2 megabytes and YouTube if we just double check if I go up here YouTube only lets you to upload uh, one megabyte um, one megabyte image so if I go to settings as you can see at background you can only choose a file size of one megabyte and when you save as JPEG as you can tell here in the preview it tells you how big your image is and at the moment as you can tell it's 1.2 megabytes so if I save this and try to upload it it wouldn't let me because it's too big and an advantage that we can do with JPEG is actually turn the file size down and the quality with it as well obviously and as you can tell my image is a lot smaller now 
but you don't want to you don't want to you want to use the maximum quality as you possibly can and get as close as you can to that one megabyte so if I turn this up to about nearly the largest one as you can tell nearly the largest but not quite it will still be right under see it's just over 1.2 meg still is if I turn a bit more there we go probably this is the closest I'm gonna get 681 kilobytes so you're just gonna save it as it is 11 quality which is still maximum quality so it's pretty good click OK and then you save it like so and then obviously the most simple step is actually uploading it so if you already got one you're obviously gonna have to click remove and just um, upload it and it should come out exactly as this one does because I created this um, background with the exact same way with the exact same template so it should come out just fine so this is the um, last part for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and you'll have fun with this also make sure you try to implement your own ways and your own designs and play around with this play around with the layout play around with the different things you want to add to it one thing that I would advise you to do when you're creating your channel is keep it simple like this one so don't overdo it don't add crazy gradients and crazy textures and crazy things just keep it simple nice and modern and it will have a nicer effect than if you go over the top I don't think well this is my personal um, view on this um, and this is why I would advise you to do so keep it nice and simple keep it clean and keep it looking cool so this is it for this series guys I really hope you enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe and favorite and I will see you guys later on